Now for this next part, it says, hence find the upper quartile of x, giving our answer to one decimal place. Now, this is very straightforward because it said hence, it's obviously got to be related to the last part. And we found in the last part, q1 lay between 2.29 and 2.31. And to one decimal place, this would be 2.3. So we could say then that q1 is 2.3 to one decimal place. Now because the symmetry of the graph, because the graph is symmetrical, then obviously the upper quartile must be over here. It must be the same distance back from the 5 as Q1 was forward from the 1. So this interval here from 1 to 2.3 is an interval of 1.3 units. So to get the upper quartile here, Q3, all we need to do is just do 5 minus 1.3, that interval there. So that's the reasoning behind this. So we can just say, therefore, Q3, the upper quartile, is equal to 5 minus 1.3. And 5 minus 1.3 is 3.7. OK, so Q3, 3.7.